We will have to see how these play out. Kulu texted me last night and said, nonetheless, he's going to get it. We will have to see what Anwar has to say about that early leg kick. All smiles by Kulu. Well, the last fighter Kulu. that got in Kulu's face at the weigh-ins was over with in about 20 seconds. 28 seconds against Anthony Acosta. Kulu finds himself on top in about 20 seconds here of round number one. I think you're starting to see that size difference right there because he took him down fairly easy there. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Anwar been training his entire life. Viliami Kulu getting his blue belt in August of 2022. Maybe we'll see a little head and arm choke here. Got the left arm isolated. You tell him, Jason. I know you've been training. You know, I've been working on my jiu-jitsu, Joel. I, ha I know you have. Took a little break. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> I noticed Blake's been showing up when I'm not there. I visit from a very far place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him talk to you like that, Blake. Joel, if you could just break down a little bit of what Kulu's doing well and what Anwar's doing well. Absolutely. Kulu's doing a great job keeping that chest-to-chest -chest pressure there and blocking the hips every time uh, his opponent would turn into him. Um, he's got a good, a good solid base onto him. Now he's wrestling to the top, controlling that backside uh, while he's in turtle. I'd like to see him start raining some shots down here, hopefully. You got to wonder maybe why he's not throwing those punches. Maybe Anwar's a little bit stronger than he might have thought. Absolutely. I think sure. he wants a submission. He's got that head and arm choke there, just like Jason called it. Starting to close in on it, just able to break that tension is Anwar. In the bottom half Kulu. of round number one. Kulu into full mount now, and here we go with the big shots. This is where you do not want to be if you're Nasser. A pop from the Maverick Center as Kulu starts to go to town. Anwar in a world of trouble. That's all it takes. Viliami Kulu gets it done once again. That's a bad man. That is a bad oh. man. It looks like we got a back of the head call by Tyler Tomlinson. I don't know about that. Uh, I'd like to I'm, see not, a replay. I'm not too sure about that either, yeah, Jason. Yeah, those were, looked like they were to the side of the head, but I'm not the referee, and Tyler saw it. He makes the call. Absolutely. We'll have to see what happens. We've got Doc Murdoch entering. Looks like it was not called off. We see a back of the head motion. Well, Nassar's cut on his left eye. So, a little bit of confusion here headed into this. Joel, lots of questions. We got the replay right here. It's Tyler, right one of here. the top referees in the state. So oh, absolutely. He, he makes the call then. Goes, he transitioned the mount very with ease there, man. Very easily there. Hard shots coming down. Ah, uh, right there. There was a couple. There was one back of the shot head there, but looks like these landing majority on the ear. Yeah, those are all on the side, to, in my opinion. But once again, from our angle, look like it. Tyler's obviously got a different angle, and sure. Once again, he's he's one of the most well-respected referees in the state. So if he makes the call. We'll see if Nassar wants to keep fighting. Oh, taking a point. Wow. No warning, huh? Tyler, very stern tonight. The no-nonsense Keith Peterson, but also <laughs> the no-nonsense <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Tomlinson. <laughs> it's better than Steve Mazzugatti. I'm going to put that out there. Yeah. Handful of boos from the crowd. Makes sense considering the Salt Lake backdrop. We start back up on the feet, Joel. Answar taking his time, putting his mouthpiece in there, it looked like. Oh, he got it. Kulu right. charging right. Oh. Down he goes! Kulu looking to finish. It's a bad position to be in under Kulu there. Answar's... Still fighting from the bottom. He's not quite out of it, but that size difference is, is making a huge difference right now. Oh, absolutely. Kulu just too strong on top. Anwar. I think he might be out. He's, he's hurt pretty bad right now. Unsure of the time left in round number one. But Kulu trying to get home early tonight. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Anwar has taken an absolute beating. That's it. 
Biliami Kulu gets it done, fired up, and rightfully so, he moves to four and two. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Fierce Fighting Championship on YouTube. For more daily content, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss any of our daily fights, podcast clips, highlights, as well as our full weekly podcast. If you want to tune into one of our live shows, go ahead and head over to FierceFightingChampionship.com.